was 76 pounds. So we have more house updates. Oh. <gasps> In the meantime, our Florentines are done. Just I'm sat here finishing off last night's dinner for breakfast. That's how good it was. Hi there, welcome back to a new video. I've got a really nice home cozy vlog for you today. I am going to start with a little haul. I've just come in from a weekly shop. And we've got friends coming this weekend as well, so we're really excited about that. But I wanted to get the house spruced up, give it a bit of a clean. I wanted to do some baking and food prep tomorrow. So I figured I would do it with you. I hadn't planned to, and then I thought, actually, I quite enjoy filming that kind of a video. So um, that's what you're going to be getting today. So I really hope you'll enjoy it. Um, just come in from Lidl. It's raining and so miserable out there. So are we in for the rest of the day now? It's 20 to 4. Let's Possibly. put the chain on the door. Unless, it, unless we walk. <laughs> the weather's just so naff. We did a lot of walking last night, actually. How far did we walk last night? I don't um, even know, actually. We were out an hour. Three and a half miles, four miles. Okay, three and a half, four miles after dinner. Um, yeah, the weather's just awful today, so it just feels like it should be a cosy one. I'm going to pop the kettle on in, in a moment. Run through um, our food haul, show you what we've got for the week, meals I've got planned, and that kind of thing. Um, really hope you'll enjoy hanging out with us the next couple of days. So today's shop was £76. Uh, let me just run through it. I have got, uh, because we've got friends coming over, I've topped up on Prosecco. I've bought some wine. We've also got milk. We wanted to try their cheapy orange juice um, just to go in cocktails. So we've bought a carton to try. Coke, eggs. Um, I really, really love the rocket salad. Paracetamol, that's a bit boring. I don't usually buy micro waveable rice. However, our friends are coming over Friday night and I was going to do a curry night. So, um, yeah, I thought I would do that. I think it was something like 45p a bag or something. I thought that was quite good. And we've got AIDS headache biscuits, as he likes to call them. Tomato puree. I was very, very excited about the artichoke hearts. It's something I struggle to get hold of. I used to buy them in Waitrose. It was the only supermarket in the town where we used to live. And they've now gone up to about, I think, three pounds something. And we were out the other day and I saw a tin, I got excited and they were four pounds something. So when I saw the specials on Lidl, um, I think this was for Spanish week, one pound 49. There's a few of them left today, so I picked up three. And I really like them for um, artichoke dips. I've made that dip on here a few times. If you do a little search in the search bar, it's a real cheesy, whiny dip. The sort that you just want to scoop up with crusty bread. It's so good. So there should be a decent shelf life on these. I'm guessing so. It is 2027. Not something we have loads of, but every now and then they're nice for a date night. Chopped tomatoes. This was also on the Spanish aisle. I thought this pasta, 99p, looked really good for soups. I thought that would be quite nice. My beaters are on offer at the moment, 85p. I like to have these with cream cheese and sliced tomatoes for lunch sometimes. Crumpets, cream crackers. Aid's always partial to a bowl of cereals. He said they're three pounds as well, so he was quite pleased with that. He also picked up a couple of packs of nuts. And then just to put um, as a standby for dinner is bratwurst. I thought I haven't had, oh, I've got chicken thighs as well, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Speaking to our son last night and I picked up chicken wings. He is the master of chicken wings. I was speaking to him last night and he was about to make chicken wings. I've got a really itchy wrist, sorry. Um, he was about to make chicken wings for his uni house. Um, and I just thought, oh, I haven't had chicken wings for ages. I love them. So potatoes, although we're still getting through the 15p bag potatoes from Easter. I picked up a couple of romaine hearts. Don't often get those. However, we were talking the other day, we really, really fancy a Caesar salad. The only time we ever had of a Caesar salad is when we're in the States. Why don't we ever have them over here? So um, yeah, I picked up a couple. They were 99p and I thought that would make quite nice. I might do those tomorrow actually. Aid's in the office tomorrow. That might be a nice, easy dinner. 
bananas. I've still got grapes in the fridge and some other salad bits. Um, blueberries, sweet potato, cauliflower. Cauliflowers seem to get tiny at £1.09 for that. Um, a mix, these were on offer actually. Lemons and limes. And then I've got a big bag of peppers, onions, cherry tomatoes and broccoli as well. And that was £76. Oh, and I also picked up pasta. I always pick up pasta and put on the in the food bank on the way out as well. I always feel that's something that's not expensive, but um, is good for feeding a family, isn't it? And it doesn't, it doesn't go off. It's in your cupboard for ages. So I always feel that's a good food bank item. I'm so hungry. more house updates um, we're having is it the new electric and gas meters fitted because of the issue we've had with the gas we haven't had anything working correctly since we've lived here it's been five months now oh my batch is gonna go um, yeah when we moved in they had the house numbers and plot numbers and gas meters everything was muddled up um, and I don't know how many hours, age you've spent on the phone lots. trying to fix lots it. Lots and lots. It's been very frustrating for you. And each time you speak, it's typical, each time you speak to somebody, you have to go through it all again. Um, we've had countless numbers of people come out and not be able to sort it. Or not knowing what they're actually to do. I think January, someone came out with the instruction to change the gas meter, but didn't know why. <laughs> so, of course, well, I, thought, I don't know. Not they're asking me. <laughs> British gas have been useless, haven't they? Well, yes and no. They have been, but they've. I've managed to f contact a couple of people that have been really good. Yeah. That have dealt with it. We've almost had two people. I think that've been that've been really good, um, but it's been painful. It's been hours and hours and hours. So basically, yeah, what happened? All the they have almost like a fingerprint as such, and they got mixed up on the wrong properties, and they needed to reset that. But then that's not done by British Gas, that's a national database, so then you have to wait for that. And then when we did that, then we got the electric work in, but then the gas wouldn't talk to the, be able to read smart meter readings. So of course there's an issue there. Um, but we've also still got our another plot on our account. But we're not paying for that one, so that needs to be removed. That's something else I'm going to need to deal with afterwards. Still? Yeah. But all our stuff is good. The last lady I spoke to was amazing. She did actually switch us over, closed our account over, closed our account, and then put us onto the new one. So she has been was amazing. I just it just feels though it was somebody else's problem. Somebody else made this mistake, but you've been left to deal, to with, deal with everything. It. Yeah. On top of everything else, when you move house and all also the stress. Also, our neighbours couldn't get anything set up yes, as well. Yes, that's very true. So, yeah, but we're there's, getting there. This guy here, we've just had our electric put back on. I think that's dealt with now. I think the reason we need to have both changed is because it's the new type of smart meter. And when you have one like that, it's just a good idea to have both that are the same. So the gas and electric are both the, the next version or whatever. So it's going to be the version 2 or something. So, um, yeah, so swapping both. May as well get them both done. Now he's doing the gas. Yeah. Um, I need to have a bit of a tidy up at home and I'm gonna bake something soon as well. Just gonna do like go along the radiators and the stairs with this. I've had quite a lot of questions about this duster. It's really handy because it's really good for down the stairs. It's um, great for down the back of radiators and things like that and even reaching up high to do ceilings. And um, yeah, I bought it from some guy that knocked on our door 
years ago. You know when somebody's trying to get back on their feet, they've got a few cleaning products to sell, they show you a little card. And I always feel that I kind of want to support people. And so I bought that from him. Um, I'm sure you can get them in other cleaning places, like, I don't know if Poundland sell them, or I don't know, I don't know, I haven't looked for one elsewhere. But yeah, that's how I bought ours. Um, I completely forgot to mention on here, so I'll mention it now actually. Um, for any of you who are crafty and love Disney, I'm actually holding a Disney, I'm calling it a Crafternoon on Saturday, tomorrow actually. Um, it's between 2 and 5 p.m. UK time and it's held on Zoom so everyone can join in. It's um, part of my Patreon membership but it starts at just £1.50 plus your local tax so it's not huge amounts of money and that actually gives you a whole month's membership so with that you'll get access to three and a half years worth of downloads, extra videos, um, journal prompts goodness knows how many other things there's loads on there so you'll get access to that for the whole month for the price of one pound fifty and your local tax and you also get to join in on um this month zoom as well including the disney craftoon so in case you're wondering what the craftoon is it's basically all of us that love disney and love to craft we're having an afternoon of crafting Disney. I've got a little DIY that I'll be doing with everyone, so you can join in with that. If you aren't really into Disney, but you love crafting, you're still welcome to join in. Um, you don't have to craft Disney things, um, but obviously the chat will be about Disney. So I will leave the link down below to my Patreon if you're interested and would love to join in. Oh, and by the way, if you've missed this and you thought afterwards, oh, I'd really like to have joined in, um, there is a free tier on Patreon, so you do get to see what's coming up. So it could be that one month you see something that appeals to you and you could join in for that month. So do join in on the free tier um, and then you get to see what's happening. I was just designing the July kit. It's going to be a fun theme. I like to sometimes think about a person when I'm designing the kit and this time I'm thinking about Lucy who's in our Patreon group and her daughter loves Mary Poppins. So I'm going to do a Mary Poppins theme kit in July. So that's what I was just working on. I've had just a knock at the door and the postman has just delivered a little box. And I've got some happy mail. Look how cute. I'm going to keep those stickers from a sweet friend. Oh, there's pretty stickers on the back. They look like almost Kath Kitson style. I'm gonna open the soft one first. Oh, that's so sweet. I've got such lovely friends. Oh my goodness. It's a bunch of lace. Oh my goodness, that is so much. One. Just loads and loads of little bundles. Oh my goodness. This is all so nice. I love vintage lace so much. Funnily enough, I want to put some vintage lace in the Mary Poppins themed box. Sort of like match Mary's white dress. Look at all of that, oh my goodness. I've got another little package. Things like this make me so happy. It makes me just want to go upstairs and create. I'm going to be redoing my craft room soon. Oh, she told me about this. We went thrift shopping recently together and I saw a little, bit of, a little bag of Scrabble tiles and she picked them up and I said, oh no, it's fine, thank you. I don't need them. And then, you know, when you go away afterwards, you think, oh, I could do this, I could do that. These would be really good for little journal charms. And um, she picked them up for me. She said she had. So thank you very much, Romy. You are very naughty. It's very appreciated, though. But I said I was saying that sometimes in thrift shops, in charity shops, I find it quite overwhelming. There's so much to see, and I I always say to people, you need to think outside of the box. And sometimes I don't. I think my mind is just like so focused, and I don't know. I get almost a bit overwhelmed feeling. And then afterwards, I come away and think, oh, I should have bought that. Could have done this with it. So thank you very much, Romy. And we've got another little package. Let's have a look and see what's in this one. Oh. Aid, <gasps> you're going to love these. Yeah. She 
gifted one of our other friends. We had a Patreon get together and she gifted another friend some mini, mini Winnie the Pooh books and we were all cooing over them. They were just beautiful. She sent me a set. She finds the best treasure. I will not be doing anything with these except for loving them. Pooh and Piglet go hunting. Pooh goes visiting. Eeyore loses a tail. And, oh, hold on, Aid's coming in. Aid, pleasure. Romy has sent treasure. Ooh. She finds the best things. Am I opening them yet? Yeah, open them and have a look. Oh. They're really They're cute. Really nice. I know. Oh, those... What was the last one? Um, Pooh goes visiting. Oh, and Pooh hears a buzzing noise. Thank you, Romy. Your gifts mm. are the best. We need to find a little home for these. Mm -hmm. Look how sweet. I think for now, I'm going to pop them on there. I think. I might have a little move around, but I quite like them on there for now. Right, a little bit later. Doing really well with my kit prepping at the moment, creating the new July kit. I've decided also to do it, um, the Mary Poppins theme. I'm going to do it in whites, reds and blues. So it's a little bit like a July the 4th type colour combo. Because it goes with the Mary Poppins, the red stripes, the red bow, the white lace. Um, so I think that actually goes quite well. Right, I'm going to make some lunch. I'm going to make some oatmeal. Uh, porridge. Um, I know it's like May, um, but we still really enjoy this. It's a really filling lunch and really quick and easy as well. I sometimes find that my sugar levels dip a little bit. I'm not very good at keeping them balanced. That's something I've always struggled with. Um, but oats are really good and they're really good for keeping your cholesterol low as well. So I've just got some oats and I'm going to pop some water in and just let them cook down. And then when they get a bit dry, I'll add a bit more water. The other thing I really love to add are frozen berries as well. So when that's cooked down a little bit, I'm gonna add some frozen berries. I just buy these in Lidl. They don't work out too expensive and they last for ages as well. If I'm really good and I've organized it beforehand, I will defrost them and add them, but you can add them from frozen too. That's starting to thicken up a little bit now. So I'm gonna add a little bit more water. And I've added some of the berries as well. I'm just going to let that cook down. And again, if it gets too thick, I'm just going to add some looking really good. I'm going to add some honey to sweeten. And then just test it to make sure it's sweet enough. This is such a good lunch. And I'm just going to add a sprinkle of cinnamon sugar on the top to finish it off. I think that looks really, really good. Made you lunch. Oh, simply. Yeah. It's really quick. <laughs> I know. There you go. Quick, good okay. for you, and really filling as well. Really? I'm looking forward to this. Aid's gone out to make the most of the sunshine. It's late afternoon now, and it's due to rain this evening. So he's gone out to mow the lawns. And I've been fancying making some Florentines for ages, so I'm gonna make those. So I've got cornflakes, flaked almonds. We are going to make them with, whoops, I feel like I've been nibbling on the glacé cherries. Glacé cherries and craisins. And um, we've got dark chocolate to finish, thorn syrup, sugar, and a little bit of flour. Oh, and I need some butter as well. I have been fancying these Florentine biscuits for so long now. I just keep thinking about them and I just haven't got around to baking them so I just figured today was the day. It's almost like a cornflake cake but a luxurious cornflake cake. If you can't have nuts you can leave the um, almonds out, the sliced almonds but um, they're just so delicious. Having that nuttiness with the cornflakes. Ooh, I wonder if you could do crunchy nut cornflakes. I might try those next time actually without the almonds. Um, see how those go. As for the dried fruit, I've just used what I've got. I love a glacé cherry and I had a bag of craisins. I recently made up loads of um, bread pudding and I used up all my dried fruit, <laughs> all my raisins, sultanas, all that. So I need to go and buy some more. So today it's just um, the glacé cherries and, and craisins, but you can use whatever you've got in your house. 
um, and then just mix it all together pour over the liquidiness which is the butter the sugar the golden syrup which holds it all together and pour that over the top of all the crispiness and the dried fruit it is such a lovely recipe and really really easy to do as well you've just got to be careful obviously with the um the liquid bit here because obviously that gets really really hot so go careful with that but there's so many different variations you can do to this just do it to suit what you and your family really like it's a really easy and fun biscuit to make and i've added a good tablespoon of strawberry jam to this as well. Can't get the oven on. I don't know what's going on. I thought it was... Um, warming up all this time it's not working just needed something doing with the timer let's put these in oh, for about 15 minutes and while the oven is on I am going to try a different dinner it is a teri teriyaki chicken and rice casserole and it looks absolutely delicious i really fancy something like that i'm fancying comfort food today and just feeling like being cozy i'm so tired in the afternoons at the moment um let's have a look right i think this is gonna be a good one look at the recipe i'm using below we've got soy sauce honey ground ginger brown sugar corn flour and some oil i don't know if we're using the oil actually yet i'm um, gonna turn this into a sauce and in the meantime our florentines are done we're just going to tidy them up into tidy little shapes so that they look more co cookie and not so spread out and we're going to let them completely cool down so i've laid my chicken thighs just gonna pour a little bit of this soy sauce ginger garlic mixture over the top keeping the rest for when we finish off the casserole later and this is gonna go in the oven for about 25 minutes actually put some foil over the top of this so it doesn't burn down and uh, because you know how much I love multitasking I've actually got the water underneath ready boiling for the rice and then I've put a little glass dish in the top and I'm adding my chocolate there to melt and once the Florentines are completely cool we will add some melted chocolate on the top half an hour I have added some peppers I'm gonna add some pineapple I've got some veggies cooking in the microwave as well and I'm gonna put this back in the oven for 10 more minutes I might add a little bit of the pineapple sauce as well this isn't in the recipe I've just added this little bit extra myself right this is really hot now I'm just gonna shred up this chicken my veggies and I've just drained the rice as well the rice is already cooked right, I'm gonna add the rice to that I'm gonna add the veggies to that and mix it all around and then pour over the rest of the sauce as well this smells really really good just heated that back through. Good. 
Good morning. I thought I'd finish this video. I was going to finish it a bit later, but I'm sat here finishing off last night's dinner for breakfast. That's how good it was. So I thought actually, oh gosh, that's 8.35 and I'm eating teriyaki chicken casserole. <laughs> it was really, really, really good. You need to try it. So easy. It's going to be one of my staples now. It just the rice really absorbs all the sauce. It's so, so tasty. I liked the fact that I added the peppers. The peppers are a really nice addition. I made a few tweaks. Um, I'll definitely make this again. It's a really good way to use up leftover veggies as well. Um, I think when my dad's over from the States, I'm going to make a big batch of this because it's really, really easy to make. Anyway, I'm going to finish now. I hope you've enjoyed this cosy one with me today. Let me know what you've been up to lately. Would you have a bit of nicer weather, which is exciting? Um, have you got any plans? Let me know. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful weekend and I look forward to seeing you with a weekend vlog on Sunday. It's one of those where we were really busy. We got loads done. I can't wait to share it with you. Take care. Bye.